This video is a part of a series where we bring you the privilege of hearing directly from the fund managers who manage large amount of money invested in mutual funds by investors like you. We will ask them about their views on market, economy, various sectors, how they manage funds, the research team they have, the processes they follow and many more questions that you as investors are eager to know. In this video, we will hear the views of Mr. Harsha Upadhyaya, Chief Investment Officer at Kotak Mutual Fund, which is the fifth largest fund house with Rs. 4,75,000 crores of assets under management. Apart from the responsibilities of a CIO, Harsha personally manages five funds at Kotak Mutual Fund. He is a chartered financial analyst and has a rich experience of 23 years spread over equity research and fund management. He hails from Shimoga city of Karnataka and has done his graduation from NIT Suratkal and post-graduation from Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow. So without holding you further, let us hear from Harsha Upadhyaya. Harsha, so if you just go back and see COVID days, maybe what, four years back? 2020, right. April, May, June, Sensex was around 27,000. Today, Nifty is at 25,000 25, and Sensex is around 82. It got tripled. Right? Last three, four years returns are mind boggling and everyone is quite bullish and things are moving on in a big way. I have two questions around this topic, Mr. Shah here. Mm -hmm. One, an investor who is already into capital market, who is investing for last say five or ten, because there are a lot of investors today who are into market for 10, 12 years. They have sizable portfolio built in. What is that they have to do now on their existing portfolio? And the one more question here, the second question here is a new investor who is coming into market. He is he may be doing his planning and coming, or uh, that historical returns may be tempting him to come to market, either of the two, right? So what is that? he has to look at what is what kind of return expectation he should have how he should look, look at market at this level uh, Sridhar as we all know uh, past return should not be a barometer for what's likely to happen in the future okay you are right from covid lows until now markets have given phenomenal returns okay. I would say more than normal returns uh, the kind of returns that we have seen simply because at the bottom of the covid uh, disruption yeah the valuations were very low okay then the earnings growth picked up it picked up more than what the expectations were and has run at about 30 percent plus in terms of CAGR earnings growth huh. so all of this has led to superior returns in the last three and a half or four years okay. when you look at the very very long term returns when I say long term 10 years 20 year returns okay. usually that mirrors the corporate earnings growth rate and corporate earnings growth are broadly driven by how a corporate does in, in any economic scenario. Okay. And generally in the very long term, Indian corporate earnings have grown at about roughly 13 to 14% CAGR basis. Okay. At some point of time, the current 30-35% returns are not going to be sustainable, as in they will not get repeated. Huh. If it repeats, then that should be taken as a bonus. bonus. But the expectation should come down to the average levels that we have seen in the very, very long term. Okay. Now, the question of what should an investor do if he has already made a yeah, lot of money? That is the main thing. Yeah, I think one should focus, keep an eye on asset allocation. Okay. Let's say you started with 50-50 between equity and fixed income four years back, okay. let's say. Okay. Maybe now it has become 70-30 or 75-25. Correct. Then it needs to be reset to 50-50. Oh. You may leave something on the table. The market may still give you higher returns, but okay. every time we should not just focus on expected returns or past returns. Okay. We should also look at what is the kind of risk that one is taking. If you go back to GFC, Global Financial uh, Crisis Correct. period 2008, of 2008, yeah. let's say somebody started in 2003, looking at past returns if he kept uh, in, in, in increasing allocation to equity, Correct. maybe at the peak they had 100% invested in equity. 100%. And when it falls, the entire 100% portfolio will also fall. Correct. So ideally, you should keep reviewing your portfolio every now and then and reset that to the intended asset allocation. That intended asset allocation, obviously you will know better because you interact with each of your clients Correct. and you will be able to decide. Correct. But I think that's very, very important to reset so that not only your return expectations are reset, 
but also your risk is reset in the portfolio. Now coming to the second question in terms of what a new, new investor, investor should yeah, that is very important. I think spending time in the market is more important than timing the market. Okay. Right? So one should not try to time the markets and think that we will be able to get all our investments at the bottom and we'll make superior returns. Okay. I think just like when you start a business, you'll keep working for that business continuously. For right? some time. Even then, investments right. are, are are about investing in businesses. Correct. Just that you are not running that business, somebody else True. is running that business for you. So you need to keep making those disciplined investments over a period of time uh -huh. and build that wealth for the long term. So I think even the new investors can continue to look at all asset classes, including equity, even at current levels. Okay, okay. This is uh, a fa fair understanding for our customers. Yeah. So you are telling that asset allocation is the key which we used to do rightly from 2004, 5 when we started our career. So the, the basics same have not changed. Continue. Basic is same. Yes, asset allocation, right. financial planning, this is must. That should continue. And one should follow the investment principles and discipline. That's so right. basics have not changed. Nothing has as changed. As simple as yes. that. One more question around the same topic. If someone is rebalancing their portfolio, you have mentioned about they have to reorganize between equity and debt once again. Mm -hmm. As well as you also told a fresh investor, whoever is coming to market, he should be more worried. He should think he should think more about how much time he has to stay in the market to get his best returns. Yes. Now, as we all know, we are at a reasonably at a higher level of the market. Is there any other asset classes that an existing investor has to think other than his basic equity mutual funds, debt funds, or is there any other products which he can add where he can get a little cream of equity? rather than a uh, fixed income. Is there any such asset classes they can consider? See, apart from the usual fixed income and equity investments, one can also look at commodity investments, especially gold and silver, Okay. Uh, where the vehicles are available from the mutual fund industry. For example, we do have a, a gold ETF or a silver ETF where one can participate. Okay. It is similar to buying gold or silver. In a, in a usual scenario, probably you will buy it in the form of a jewelry or a physical uh, gold, gold Correct. coin, Correct. Or et cetera. Here you will be buying it in an electronic, electronic form. form. That's the only difference. So storage becomes not a headache for you. Okay. Very, very easy and convenient. You can also liquidate those assets as and when you want, want to, to come out of it. That yeah. is one way of doing it. Or you could also look at a hybrid category of funds okay. where along with equity and fixed income, you could also have exposure to commodity commodities or commodity funds uh, wherein the decision of how much to allocate into each of these buckets will be taken by the fund house and the portfolio manager so these are essentially the ways in which you can invest into different asset classes and i'm sure uh, every investor wants to diversify and the, the idea is not to just look at past returns and expect that equities have given so much of return so in the next four years they are likely to give same returns and let's put all 100 percent in that in equity. you should never put all your eggs in one basket okay. so we really do not know when an asset class becomes expensive or when it becomes volatile so it's always better to have a, a, a kind of a risk management through asset allocation and again i'm stressing that point and that asset allocation will hold good uh, across time periods and, okay. and will help you manage the risk 